Welcome back to Tainslade Info. This video will provide another update regarding the latest happenings with the HAL's HLFT-42 trainer aircraft and the update is regarding the design. When Hindustan Aeronautics Limited confirmed that they are developing the lead-in fighter trainer, it gave a big hope for the Indian Air Force. As per the different sources, it looks like the upcoming HLFT-42 might be sharing features, design and characteristics of both Tejas and HF-24. Before proceeding further, let me quickly share few details about the HF-24. The HF-24 was an Indian fighter-bomber aircraft used during 1960, which was developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited with Kurt Tank as lead designer. Kurt Tank was a German aeronautical engineer and a test pilot who led the design department for the creation of several important aircrafts. Kurt Tank spent almost two decades designing aircraft abroad, working first in Argentina and then in India before returning to Germany in the late 1960. The first HF-24 aircraft was inducted by Indian Air Force during April 1967 and it is said that almost 147 HF-24 were manufactured and the majority was for the Indian Air Force. These aircrafts were primarily used for ground attack missions. Now coming back to the update regarding HLFT-42 trainer aircraft, as per the different sources, it is said that HLFT-42 would be sharing the same wing and the air intake inlet design which was found in HF-24. Even though the wings and air intake inlet design would be picked up from HF-24, the nose cone design and the size would be similar to the LCA Tejas. And this is in order to ensure it accommodates an AESA radar and also the in-flight refueling probe. HLFT-42 will be a single-engine trainer aircraft which will be an all-metal and will be powered using General Electric F404 engine for now until the Kaveri engine becomes matured enough to power these trainers. So let's hope Hindustan Aeronautics Limited finishes finalizing the vital designs, components and engines and come up with a prototype at the earliest so that Indian Air Force can get to operate these trainer aircrafts and India can also export them in order to compete with the South Korean T-50 supersonic trainers. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.